special mosquito flying around a laboratory in California. It's carrying a genetic weapon, one that might be capable of wiping out one of the world's most deadly diseases, malaria, which kills half a million people every year. All that suffering might end if we just open the window and let this creature out. But will we do it? The mosquito is just one project of thousands for a new gene editing tool called CRISPR that's absolutely transforming biological science. It's only four years old, but in preliminary lab experiments, it's already been used to eliminate HIV, reverse mutations that cause blindness, and stop cancer. It could even one day be used to reverse human aging. More than a billion dollars has been invested, and this really is just the beginning. CRISPR works like a pair of DNA scissors. Geneticists program a piece of RNA, much like they would write a bit of software code, and that guides the scissors to a very specific location on the genome. Snip, snip, and out goes any unwanted genes, and in goes the good stuff. The breaks in the devil helix heal automatically. This is true cut and paste genetics, and it's making the science fiction of a decade ago seem completely plausible today. CRISPR shortens genetic engineering work from years to weeks and reduces the cost of each experiment from more than $5,000 before CRISPR to less than $50 now. A person with a background in genetics can learn the basics in a day or two. The genome is now a dry erase board that anyone can scribble on. Consider our mosquito. Scientists have successfully used CRISPR to deliver a genetic tweak that makes mosquitoes immune to the malaria parasite so they can't spread it to humans. But there was still a problem, how to get this gene to spread through an entire population of mosquitoes. Genetic changes are usually only inherited by half an organism's offspring and by a quarter of those offspring's offspring. It's quickly swallowed up by a large gene pool. But last year, scientists unveiled another CRISPR breakthrough, a gene drive that pushes the genetic changes to almost 100% of offspring. Mosquitoes reproduce so quickly, immunity could flash through an entire population of mosquitoes in a single season. Boom, no more malaria. The gene drive isn't perfect yet, but it's getting there. And the biggest question holding the mosquito back is no longer about the science of what's possible, but of what's advisable. Are we really ready to take over the blueprints of life on Earth? There isn't much time for debate. Soon, some of the first human trials will use CRISPR-based therapies to treat genetic diseases. A farm in North Carolina is preparing to raise CRISPR pigs in order to transplant their organs into humans. Dow DuPont is already field testing new versions of wheat and corn, and by 2020, you can bet that all sorts of subtly different fruits, vegetables, and even meats will start showing up in your grocery store. CRISPR is the key to unlocking bioengineering, for better and maybe for worse. An international summit of scientists met in Washington in December to agree on some basic limits to ethical CRISPR research. Regarding human embryos, they decided that research should continue, but that the human genome shouldn't be altered in ways that can be passed to future generations. At least, not yet. Right now, the CRISPR field is fraught with some pretty freaky science and ethical conundrums, and the human species truly must tread carefully. But with the promise that CRISPR offers, we may come to a point where it's unethical to keep the window closed on some of this technology. And that time may be coming sooner than you think.